Right now, my knuckles are not side by side with one another facing the basket. Our shooting fingers, knuckles below those fingers, must be side by side before we can shoot the ball and even be in the act of shooting it. So you're going to see in about 10 seconds my four finger knuckles get side by side and I shoot out the two middle, others can shoot out the index and middle. But here it goes, right here. That is a conscious decision. That is a key decision in the shot process. This ligament allows the elasticity to get that side by side. and these two side by side. I must thrust the thumb forward in front of the four fingers and that allows me to have my five fingers equally heightened on the alignment phase right here. There it is. Right there. Thumb, index, middle, ring, and baby finger. Knuckles side by side. This ligament allows the elasticity to get that side by side. and these two side by side. Shoot off those two because they can take this ligament and move it forward to through. What if we can't get this third knuckle back? Well that's even more of a reason to shoot off these two because we can't get these two side by side. Two fingers touch the ball last. That's the next part of this. When we deliver the ball, whether it's our index and middle, or it's our middle and ring finger, we must consciously feel the ball come off of two fingers at the same time. That guts the middle of the ball. You'll make it every time. Now why do I say to equal these knuckles? Because if we equal the fingers, oh yeah, they're equal three fingers equal. The knuckles is truth. The knuckles put the fingers straight. Three fingers side by side. No, that doesn't work. Three knuckles side by side. That works. If you can't get this one side by side because of the tightness in here, then use these two. Up up, up. Don't let the ball slip off these two. Keep these equally heightened with one another. Up, up. Shot. And I know that it's better to shoot off two fingers at once than one finger at once. All of us have succeeded at shooting in one way or another. We have shot the ball properly. My goal in this piece is to let you know that when you did that successfully, you did that by having two fingers touching the ball last and holding your follow through. That allows you now to train to get the ball to come off two fingers last and to hold those two fingers facing the basket until the ball goes in. It should not come off one, but come off two. And when it comes off one, that's when you feel like the ball slips. When it comes off two, that's when you know your shot is true. Which fingers should we use when we're shooting? What are the last two fingers? We must stick and pick. Pick and stick. By spreading them, we get an equal delivery. Several NBA shooters shoot off these two. Several NBA players shoot off those two. An index and middle finger hold as my two fingers that I choose mentally to touch the ball last. I'm going to make it every time. If I have a one finger run off, I'm in trouble. But you can see right there, those two fingers are going to go straight to the basket. But now this run off here this is 
of runoff and you see I've got the light shined under there so that you can see the separation from the middle finger and the ball. That ball is going to tail off left. When a ball slips, someone says, oh, it slipped. This is the definition of it slipping. Now this would be a slip. I wanted it to come off both my index and middle, but it came off the outside of my middle in proportion to the index finger. This is the anatomy of what happens at the end of our shot. I'm using these two now, the middle two, because I have a smaller hand. Up, 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 up. I'm using these two now. And if it comes off two fingers at the same time, it will go in online every time. Now we're going to go through why it doesn't go in. Once we know why, then instructing will be a one to two to three word tops assessment for ourselves. This is a runoff for an index to middle finger shooter. They got a one finger release. They want a two finger release to the basket. So it slipped off and it's going to fray to the left for a righty right for a lefty. Here for a righty, it's going to fray off my middle finger and it's going to go away to the left. And for a lefty, it's going to go away to the right off the middle finger because that throws off the rotation and that's what gives you improper rotation. This improper rotation is due to a one finger release. If we get a two finger release, the ball will at the exact same time be pushed in the direction of those last two fingers. Those last two fingers, if they are facing another direction other than the one that is intended, which is the basket, it will go that way. Here you see the index finger is touching the ball last because it slipped off the middle so it's fraying away to the left. Next to me there is a middle and ring finger shooter. The ball slipped off the ring finger and now is going to run off the middle and fray away left. You can catch it sometimes and push it back with that one finger but it's so much harder. Two finger release is way better than one. Now we're going to the outside. That was midline misses of the body. So for left handers it will apply. What happened here with an index and middle finger shooter is the ball slipped away from a two finger release. Darn it. <laughs> and it now is going to come off the middle finger. And now you got to catch it to push it back in, but that's very hard. So the same instance here for a middle and ring finger shooter. The ball slipped off the middle finger and now is on the ring finger. Darn it. And as a result, we are putting all our emphasis for balance and propel on one finger. So this miss will reinforce your desire to have it come off too. Here is an overview of what happens on outside of the line misses, outside of the body. What happened is it slipped away from the initial tractor beam that you saw when, when the shooter was successful. The tractor beam goes from the two fingers. Because the index finger let the ball slip to the middle finger and then fray away, that caused an inconsistent balance point which then will not allow a good propel point. On the right hand side of the shooter from the index and middle you can see the same with the middle and ring finger. The middle finger it slipped off the middle too soon and it's running off the ring finger and now the ring finger is going to try to push it back in but most likely it's going to fray away or you may catch it and get the mate. So the two fingers established with the basketball immediately get into a V. It's a great assessment cue. V. This is what you take with you. V. Smooch. Smooch. It is a very simple yet specific instruction. 
just like when you close a door 